Hello. Some of you may know that recently on National Suicide Prevention Day, I hosted a webinar on behalf of the charity Bipolar UK. Bipolar is a serious mental health condition characterized by significant mood swings. Someone with bipolar can experience highs, also known as hypermania or mania, lows, and mixed states, where the symptoms of depression and mania occur at the same time, in between long periods, short periods of stability. Whilst it's impossible to calculate an exact number, it's estimated that over a million adults in the UK have bipolar. That's roughly 30% more than the number of people who have dementia. The Suicide Prevention Webinar was just one of many Bipolar UK holds throughout the year. And I was shocked to discover that in a survey of over a thousand people with bipolar in the UK, 59% of respondents had previously attempted suicide. Research shows that someone with bipolar has a suicide risk that's at least 20 times greater than someone without bipolar, which is higher than someone with major depressive disorder. And one in 20 people who take their own life in the UK have a diagnosis of bipolar. Yet these statistics don't reveal the whole picture. Kay Goodwin, the Emeritus Professor of Psychiatry at the University of Oxford, as it's very likely the figures are hugely underestimated because of the large numbers of people with bipolar who are either undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. In fact, the real figure is more likely to equate to two people with bipolar taking their life each and every day. The webinar's theme was creating hope through action. And I learned a lot about the best way to talk someone who's having suicidal thoughts. If you're interested, there's lots of helpful information and first-person stories of people with lived experiences on Bipolar UK's website at bipoluruk.org. Just search for the suicide prevention section. After the webinar, I heard about one attendee who, within hours of the event concluding, was able to use some of the coping mechanisms discussed, discussed to support a friend who was in a crisis situation and to help move her to a safe space. What I really wanted to share with you today is that this charity means a lot to me personally because someone very close to me took their own life. And as the statistics I mentioned show, there are many, many others who have had a similar experience. Bipolar UK's online conference this year was sponsored by a bereaved husband and sister who have raised over £35,000 in memory of Carolyn Hinchcliffe. Carolyn had bipolar and tragically took her own life in 2019. She was 41 and left behind two children Millie and George. Her husband Tim and sister Prue made a video which was played at the start of the conference. They explained that the family, they are fundraising to make sure Carolyn's memory lives on forever and to channel the strength she showed in dealing with her illness into helping others. Bipolar UK is the only national charity dedicated to supporting people with bipolar live well and fulfill their potential. With the right treatment and support, this is achievable. Yet so often individuals don't get the right treatment or support. And that's where Bipolar UK comes in, providing many invaluable services, including a thriving e-community, in-person and online peer support groups. Focus on self-management to help empower people to make changes to live well. Bipolar UK is a small charity with lots of ambitious plans to expand their services. For instance, they're currently running 50 in-person peer support groups and aim to grow this number to 400, one for every local authority in the country. The charity is also currently undertaking a widespread engagement exercise with thousands of people living with bipolar their families, 
and experts to identify challenges in the healthcare system so that they can present recommendations for change. This Bipolar Commission has an overarching aim to dramatically reduce the number of lives lost to suicide in the bipolar community each year. The full report will be presented at next year's conference on the 30th of March 2022, which is World Bipolar Day. And they will be sharing their recommendations as far and wide as possible. I know that I, for one, will be listening with interest. If you want to find out more about Bipolar UK and how you can support their ambitious plans, email Lorna at the address on the screen now, and she will be very happy to set up a call and speak with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today.